Hey y'all, welcome back y'all. Today my client is coming in. I gotta tell y'all the backstory on this cover, but she came in with her hair wet and full of conditioner y'all because she took her braids out. So although I know she was trying to do me a favor, I ended up having to let her hair dry and then we just kind of worked through it. So let me tell y'all the backstory on this color and so that way you'll know what I'm doing. So my client has been coming to me for years, getting her color y'all. At one point she couldn't get an appointment with me so she decided to color her own hair on top of what I did. So although she did a phenomenal job, it was a couple of little spots and stuff and just, you know, the professional in me could tell the toning was off. So what I'm doing today is I'm using a 10 volume developer and I'm just kind of fixing the color. I'm kind of balancing out the color because it's about three or four different shades and and just it just it looks good, but it could have been better. So that's why I'm just coming in today and I'm just kind of toning that down. Now, if you know my professionals, 10 volume really doesn't do anything but kind of deposit. So that's really all I'm doing is just kind of depositing some color. So I did that over her entire head. And as you can tell, I skipped the roots. And then I came in at the end and did the roots with the same color we always do. Now you're going to see a little bit of a line of demarcation because like I said, she's done some things to her hair. So it's going to be a gradual, but that's okay. She was perfectly fine with that. So y'all can watch me work with this part and I'll be back. So after I applied the color to her entire head, I'm coming in with our color we always use just for her roots. And like I stated earlier, her hair on the bottom has had chance to fade and sunlight and all of that. So it's going to be a little bit of a difference in color. But y'all will see once I press this out, it's going to look phenomenal. You won't even be able to tell. Okay, and she does have a couple of highlights in the front of her face. So by me toning it, you'll see those highlights really pop through. So I process her hair and then y'all, I shampooed her, steamed it, deep conditioned her. She got the full works. And then she went to sleep, y'all. My girl is knocked out. So you're going to see me chasing her head as well as her hair at the same time. So <laughs> this normally takes me no time to press her hair out. But because her head was kind of rolling all over the place, it's like a little bit of extra time. But as y'all can see, that color looks chef's kiss. Okay. it it It's her color is it. So my client is to me, she has the most beautiful hair. So just watch me work. Y'all watch me work.
So if you don't know, y'all, I believe in some healthy hair, y'all. So my clients usually do a silk press and then they stay in braids for a lot of the time. She does a really good job of doing like protective styles and things of that nature. So I was like, girl, it's time for a trim. But as you can see, I'm not scissor happy. I'm not taking off a ton of hair. I'm just taking off just enough on the ends. If you look closely on the right, you can see that color kind of... It's a little bit of a demarcation, but that's from her adding that extra color in her hair. And that's the reason why I toned it because it was more noticeable to me prior to me toning it. So, yeah. So then, y'all, I threw a little curls in my girl's head. She's in and out of consciousness this entire time. <laughs> y'all can see that head. She would wake up, then she go to sleep. She wake up, she go to sleep. And my girl is tired, y'all. She works hard saving lives. She's a whole nurse. So, y'all, y'all know. You gotta, you understand. So I curled my girl up, y'all, and as y'all can see, her hair is looking phenomenal. If you want to know what products I use, it's simple. I just use Mazzani. I really like their thermal products, so I use their milk, and I use the two thermal pressing cream and serum, and then at the end, I always come in with their shine spray. To me, y'all, that's my go-to because anytime I'm pressing out someone's hair, it works on every hair te texture, and as y'all can see, it doesn't weigh down the hair, but if y'all y'all look at that color look at that color y'all look at that color it looks so good yes y'all i'm so proud of myself but anyways that's pretty much it if you made it to this point of the video thank you so much please do me a favor and thumbs up this video and help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it but let me know what y'all want to see next i'm going to be doing a couple of nail videos and i hope you have a great day bye Fast and go